Last weekend was a crazy one, to say the least. So let's take a look back at some of the stories you may have missed from our five weekly divisions. Starting with the SK Modifieds, Brian Narducci's second half of 2022 has not been as smooth compared to the first. But the 85 Champs Boxing Machine was just one of two drivers, alongside champion Todd Owen, to finish in the top five in both features this weekend, finishing fourth on Friday and Saturday. Michael Christopher Jr.'s second place run on Saturday didn't come without an obstacle. In fact, the eSport Feeds PT Watts 82 was leading early in the race when the air cleaner came off, forcing the 82 to pit road. Christopher fell to the back of the field, but worked his way through the pack and some incidents, clawing back to second place when he ran out of time. Shifting to the late models, Daryl Keane returned to the top five for the first time in four races. It had been a bit of a rough stretch for the Big Kahuna Racing 79 team, whether it was getting caught up in incidents or mechanical problems, but Keane put together a clean and complete Friday, finishing fifth. Now in the SK Light Modifieds, rookie Jason Chapman continues to step it up, scoring three top five finishes in the last four races. But this time around, the driver of the Chapman Apartment Homes 44 scored his first career Stafford podium with a third place result. Next up for Jason, maybe Victory Lane. Next is the limited late models, and I usually don't mention the race winner because that's not a story people miss. But you may not have noticed that rookie Kevin Cormier has been the most consistent performer in the division since late July. Cormier's average finish in the last seven races is third, including two wins. That's the best average finish in the division in that stretch. The Garrett's Carpentry 14 is looking to become the first limited late model team in several years to win three races in their rookie campaign. And in the street stocks, the wicker Johnny Walker returned on Friday for the first time since mid-July. The Holyoke Dental Associates 01 started the feature in 13th, but the two-time division champion navigated his way forward to a sixth place finish. One of the better finishes he's had in a season where he has struggled. Now who needs to close out the year with some good luck? We'll go to the SK Modifieds for this one, where Anthony Flannery has had a rough go in his last three races. Back on September 2nd, the Fowler's Auto Wrecking 34 was heavily damaged in a hard crash. Flannery took the race off as a result before returning this past weekend. But oof, this weekend was not good to him. The East Hampton native was involved in wrecks on both Friday and Saturday, leading to finishes of 28th and 24th. Flannery has finished outside the top 10 in his last four races. The 2022 season ends this Friday, September 30th, as we celebrate our five weekly division champions after a long year of racing. You can get more information on the event online at StaffordSpeedway.com. We'll see you at the track.